a line between helpful reports to police and then calls over nuisance crimes that the up the resources they, they tie them up. Carroll County has now adopted an ordinance limiting such calls and as WMAR 2 News Jeff Hager tells us tonight repeat callers could pay some hefty penalties. Sheriff's deputies as theft prevention specialists well, when a handful of businesses in Carroll County refused to police their own businesses, opting instead to call 911, the sheriff called for an ordinance to limit nuisance calls, and the county has now delivered one. Is it regarding the fact that sheriffs cover the larger um, places where we shop? And it, I, I was actually saw an event, actually twice, saw events that happened um, where the employees did not try to stop anybody leaving the store. And for good reason in this day and age. Now businesses will have a reason to try to handle such problems on their own. If they make five calls within a year reporting things like theft, prostitution, or drug activity, they'll be placed on probation. Then after 10 additional calls, they will face fines for each one, ranging from 500 to $1,000. Private homes and multiple family dwellings face their own limits, but questions remain over who will enforce such measures. Westminster police say they're still trying to ascertain whether it applies to them, while Maryland State Police say it certainly does not. Some local business owners are concerned the ordinance could have a chilling effect on them as they try to provide a safe environment for their patrons. I was surprised at that and a little disheartened if that's going to be the way they're going to treat it because our businesses rely on people not being afraid to come in. If you've got that kind of stuff going on in front around your business, they're not going to come in. In Carroll County, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.